Hi, I'm Joe James, and today I'm going to show you how a max heap works and how to write a max heap in Python. So first, what is a max heap? It's a complete binary tree with each layer full except the bottom layer, which is, must be filled in from left to right. And every node must be less than or equal to its parent. So as you can see in this tree, every node is lower than or equal to the node above it. A max heap is very fast. You can insert new values into a max heap in big O of log n. You can get the maximum value in big O of 1, and you can remove the maximum in big O of log n. It's very quick because the maximum value is always the number one value in the heap. It's easy to implement using an array. So if you number the nodes from 1, two, three, uh, in layer order, and then you insert them into an array starting with index one, we'll ignore index zero. You can see these are all inserted into the array in order. So take for instance node five here with index equals four. If you want to find this node's parent, you can simply divide index four by two and you get index two to find the parent. And if you want to find the left child, you simply multiply by two, the right child, multiply by two and add one. So it's very quick and easy to get from any node in the tree to its parent, its left child, and its right child. Max heap operations, we may want to push or insert new values into the tree. We may want to peak or get the maximum value or pop the maximum value off the top of the heap. So to push, the easiest way to add a value is to add it to the end of the array and then float it up to its proper position. In this tree, let's say we want to add 12. We add 12 to the very bottom of the heap in the open position in the right child of node 11. And then we have to compare 12 to 11. 12 is greater than 11, so they'll swap places. Then we'll compare 12 to 16. 12 is less than 16, so 12 is floated up and we're done with the insert. Peak. This is very easy. It happens in big O of one time because all we have to do is return the value in the number one position in the heap. Pop. The easiest way to pop the maximum value off the heap is to swap it with the last value in the heap, delete it, save it as a maximum value as you delete it, bubble it down to its proper position in the heap. So we compare 5 to both of its child nodes, and we see that 24 is the larger of the two, so 5 trades places with 24. We compare 5 to both 19 and 1, and we see that 19 is larger, so 5 trades places with 19. Now the 5 has bubbled down to its proper position, and we can return to max, which is 25. Now let's look at how to implement a max heap in Python. So we'll start by writing push, peak, and pop functions, and then we'll write some private functions that we're going to use internally, swap, float up, and bubble down. So we'll define the class max heap. So here's our constructor. Our constructor may receive a list of items to insert into the heap. We'll start by creating a new list called heap and placing the value zero in it, which is going to be at index zero, so we're not going to use that position. And then we have a for loop to insert all the items that were passed in, if any, which we append to the list one at a time. And as we append them, we float them up into their proper position. Next, we'll write our push function. We're basically going to receive a piece of data. We will append it to the end of the heap and then we'll float it up to its proper position by calling the float up function. Now we'll write our peak function. Our peak function simply checks to see if we have at least one value on the heap. If we do, it will return the first value on that heap list. If not, it will simply return false because the heap is empty. Next we'll write our pop function. Now there are three possibilities for the pop function. The first possibility is there are two or more values in the heap in which case we want to swap the max value to the very end of the heap before we pop it off. And then we want to float down the value that we swapped into the top position. The second possibility is that there is only one value in the heap, in which case we can simply pop the top value off the heap and we'll have an empty heap after that. And then the third possibility is we're trying to pop off an empty heap, in which case we just want to return false. So this is our first case where the heap has two or more values. We first swap the first value and the last value of the heap. We pop the max value off of the heap, and then we bubble down the value in position 1 to its proper position. In the case where there's only one value on the heap, it's very easy to pop it off and assign it to this variable called max. In the last case, somebody's trying to pop a value off an empty heap, in which case we'll just say max equals false, and then we return max. So that's our pop function. Now in the push, peak, and pop functions, we use swap, we use bubble down, and we use float up, so we need to write those internal functions. 
swap in Python is pretty simple. It's a one one assigned statement with both variables in it. So our float up function, again, what float up does, it assumes we've inserted a value at the bottom of the heap or at the end of the list, and we want to float it up to its proper position. So there are two possibilities. First possibility is the index we passed in is index 1, in which case there's no floating to be done. It's already at the top. The more likely possibility, though, is that we have to float the value up. We'll start by finding the parent index of the index we're trying to float. Next, we want to check if the index we passed in is just 1. If it is, we'll just return without doing anything. And if the value at the index passed in is greater than its parent, then we will swap the two, and then we'll call float up on the parent node. And that's all there is to the float up function. It's a recursive function. It will continue until the value reaches its proper position. Bubble down is sometimes called max heapify in some textbooks. I'll simply call it bubble down. And again, it assumes we've inserted a value at the top of the heap that we want to bubble down to its proper position in the heap. We'll start by defining the index of the left child of the index that we're trying to bubble down and the right child index of the index that we're trying to bubble down. Now we want to compare our index value to the left child and then to the right child to determine which is the largest. The largest here is just going to be the index of the largest, not the value itself. Now we found the largest. We decide if the largest is the same as the index, and if it's not, then we want to swap places. And then we'll call recursively bubble down function on the largest value. So that does it for our bubble down function. It's basically two comparisons to determine the largest, and then a swap and a bubble down. Now I'll show you a few lines of code how to use our max heap. So it's pretty simple to instantiate a max heap. In this case, we're instantiating max heap starting with three values in it. Now we've pushed a value into our max heap. If we want to print out the whole list so we can see the entire max heap, but just in the form of a list. And to pop a value off of the heap, we simply call pop. That wraps up our video on the Python max heap. I'm Joe James. Thank you for watching.